back again with another video. I'm April and I own Eighth and Ross Candle Co. Tonight I was sitting in my kitchen and I was doing some candle pouring. So I thought why not bring you all along with me. I currently have some wax melting and I am pouring a few um, tester scents that I'm testing out. And let's just take a look at what I have going on. Here's my table, and I have some three ounce tins. I have them already wicked. All I did was took my wick out that I was going to use, get my little wick stickers. These are tester jars, that's why they look like this on the inside. But I get my wick sticker, and of course, put the wick sticker at the bottom of the wick down here and stick it in the center as best as you can. And voila, we have our vessel and it is ready to have our wax poured into it once it is hot enough. Okay. Same thing, get your wick, get your wick sticker. There is a number at the bottom of these jars, so it makes it pretty easy for me to center it directly um, in the middle of the jar when I am trying to place my wick. So once you have your candle jars all wicked the way you're going to need them, um, all you have to do then is make sure you have your wax. I have my wax already inside of my um, pour, but as of right now, I am about to use my thermometer here and check to see exactly where my wax is because I don't have any more chunks or anything in here. I use a coconut wax. And I like to get my wax as close to 200 as possible. Um, sometimes I get it to about 205 before I pour the fragrance oil inside of there. Currently, this is at about 186. Um, and, it's, and of course, it's still going up. So in the meantime and in between time, you can be um, weighing out your fragrance oil. So that when it is time for you to pour it inside of your pouring pitcher to stir it in together before you actually pour it into your vessel, you can um, have it already sitting to the side. For me, I don't like to do it that way. So here are here's my little notepad here. I like to um, write down the amount of wax that I'm going to need in each pour for each fragrance as well as the amount of fragrance oil that I'm going to use for each pour for each fragrance. So I keep that near me so that I can know exactly when it's time for me to pour how much fragrance oil of what I need um, for each batch that I pour. Currently we are at 195 so we're moving on up. Um, Midnight Orchid. It smells, my mom was over here today and I asked her what she thought it smelled like. And it's so funny because I was like, I think it smells like Kool-Aid. I think it smells like um, Fruit Punch Kool-Aid. Um, I'm sure we're all familiar with Fruit Punch Kool-Aid, but that's like the exact spot on smell that Midnight Orchid has for me. So I asked my mom what she thought and she said she thought the same thing. So we're hoping that it actually smells like that because I like that smell. It kind of, I smell a lot of cherry in it. Um, I'm sure there are plenty of other fragrances in there mixed in, but so far I smell a very nice bunch of cherries and it smells popping, okay? So I'm hoping that that comes across in the candle when it's actually time for me to test it out. I, um, personally I love Candle Science and the Flaming Candle for my fragrance oils. But I do try to branch out to other places just to try them, especially places that are close that will ship to me pretty quickly. And Virginia Candle Supply is one of those places. Like if I place the order on Monday, I'm going to have my order from them for sure before Thursday. And I mean, that's good as hell. So I bought maybe about eight. I think of their fragrance oils I think about eight and so far I definitely like about half of them um, 
But um, this is one of them that I really like. I've been had this for at least about two months now, and I'm just now um, actually testing it out. So we are getting to where we need to be. So I'm about to weigh out the fragrance oil. Oh, and then I have wax sitting right here as well. I have a blended wax right here that I'm trying to try out and see if I like it. And I'm hoping that I really like it because I got quite a bit of this wax left. I got about 10 pounds of this wax left and I want to use it, okay? So yeah, let me do the fragrance oil, pour that in there and get this show rolling because I have two more um, pours that I need to do, okay? So, I'll bring this here. These are the cups that I use. I like these cups because I can get so many for so little. So I am pouring the wax in right now, um, making sure that I get it exactly where it needs to be. And I went a little bit over and when I do, I just take the cup and pour a little bit back in there and try it again, see what it is. And now it's a little bit below, but I'd rather it be below than over. And I got it exactly where I need it to be. Sitting to the side, watching birds, 
while I use these. And I don't know exactly what these are called, but I call them wick bar holders. You just slide your wick through here. I like them. Pour these next to um I'm gonna see I'm gonna let you watch me pour this candle. Let's see if I can work on that. Move all of this out of the way. Out of the way. I'm gonna pour these candles. Baby, baby. Uh, okay. And let's pour. Because when I'm all the way over there, I know you don't see this being poured that well. Slow and steady with your pour.